to locate the sea cock and the sea water strainer. You can see them in these photos. I place the snake wrench around the mid part of the canister then place a bowl underneath before I turn it clockwise to undo the canister. Turn the mid part clockwise and the bottom drops away and this is what you see that falls away from the canister. I rinse as much as I can in the water that falls out of the strainer and then I clean it. Here's a close-up of the algae that is attached to the wire screen and this has to be cleaned off properly. Place the o-ring on the lip of the bottom canister, then place the strainer inside that, then lift up the mid screw piece as far as it goes. Now we are ready to place the bottom mount up into the fixed upper mount back in the bilge. In the bilge we first partially do up the canister in an anti-clockwise direction, then we open the seacock to let water run through. We are trying to eliminate any air locks. This shows the seacock is closed and the canister is fully closed with the strainer inside it. The evaporative filter probably needs to be done every time you clean the grime off the fan above the TV. This job isn't in the FP manual, so please take note. Now we need to locate the four screws that are holding the box in position. This is the view from the top above the fridge. This is where the fourth screw is located. Now we can pull the TV out a little bit and start to remove all the cables that are, need to be passed back through the, a hole in the back of the box before we can take it completely away from the wall. Once all the cables have been pushed back through the back of the box, the box can then be freely removed and completely set aside in a safe place out of the way. That's Roman reaching for the very dusty filter and pulling it out from behind that copper piece. The dust just runs off with uh, running water and a little bit of light scrub.
first the leads are gathered into as small a bundle as possible and then we juggle the box so that we can place the leads through that hole before it sits flush on the bench. Now the box is back in position, the wires can all be reconnected to the TV and then the four screws back in the box.